Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got a new article coming out on my Jumbo Hotspot. And I'm going to do a little video here showing you how to prepare it and then get it configured. Okay, I'll have an article coming out soon on my website www.k0pir.us and it'll be titled something like Digital Mobile Radio DMR MMDVM Hotspot. And basically I'm just going to go through uh, how it works and uh, the hotspot that I got. It's kind of like a jumbo spot. And then uh, preparing it, getting the TF card ready, and then of course configuring it for your DMR radio. Now this uh, MMDVM or Jumbo Spot, I bought it off of eBay, but the the shipper is in California, so I got it in a matter of days. I'll put a link on my website. It looks like uh, other guys that have the Jumbo Spot, it looks exactly like it. And basically what it is is a Raspberry Pi Zero with an MMDVM hat. Now the first thing you want to do is get it prepared and to do that you'll want to take the micro SD card out or they call it a TF card and you'll need your Wi-Fi SSID and password. So take the TF, TF card out, insert it into your computer and I use it in an adapter and then you want to go to the Wi-Fi builder configuration utility. I'll click on it, it takes me there. Put in the uh, SSID, and mine is uh, DC5C, I think, yep. And then the password for it, and I'm just going to type in R-A-S-P-B-R-Y, Raspberry. Submit it, and then it asks me to save the file. I'll click OK. It saves it up here, and it is a WPA underscore supplicant configuration dot C-O-N-F. And what you want to do is take that file and drag it over and put it in the root directory of the TF card. So once you put it into the root directory of the TF card, take it out of your computer, put it back into the jumbo spot, power it on, and after about three minutes, the jumbo spot should be ready. You can go to your web browser and type in http colon slash slash pi dash star. And that should take you to your little jumbo spot. And this is what it came up to. Now if it asks you for a login and password, the login is uh, PyStar. And the password is Raspberry. And we just want to go through and make some changes. This is set up right, MMDVM host and simplex. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply changes. And it takes just uh, about a minute for it to make the changes and come back. Modem selection section has been updated, okay. Alright, so after we applied those changes, we get this. I'm going to select DMR mode. Go down to OLED, that's what we want. This is okay. This is okay. I'm going to hit apply changes again. Okay, I got the modem selection section has been updated. Click that again. And you can see the image there, the uh, jumbo spot. It just says close. Right now because it's not configured. And before you get it connected to the network, if you just power it on without getting it connected to the network, nothing will show up on the L LCD there. So at least we have close on there. I guess it's telling us we're getting close. Okay, then the next section is the general information. Okay, well that's a net coming on our 2 meter repeater, our local repeater. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, host name Pystar, we're going to leave it at that. You want to put your call sign in there for your node, then you want to put your uh, DMR ID, and this is mine, 
I got my DMR ID from RadioID.net. That's something you'll want to do right away. And then the uh, radio frequency, what I put in is 446.5, and that's open in my area. Nobody uses it. And then uh, you want to put in the latitude and the longitude. Uh, I believe that's mine. And uh, the town and the locator, I'm going to put in uh, Pure South Dakota and then the locator. And then the country, United States. For the URL, I'm going to click Auto because it will automatically get the QRZ URL to my QRZ webpage. Radio modem type. This is the one we want, the STM32, and then it's the Raspberry Pi hat, GPIO, of private. This is my time zone, and it's English. I'm going to click uh, Apply Changes. Okay, so we're done with that section. Everything looks like it held. This section, I want to get one that's close to me. United States 3102 is what I've been using, color code 1. And then that's fine. I'm going to click Apply Changes one more time. And if you look over at the image, you'll see that the jumbo spot is almost ready to go. I think when it loads, it will be ready. Yeah, there we go. I think it is the newest database. Uh, unfortunately, when we loaded it, it loaded so fast it disappeared. And I forgot to look to see if it, how many it said. If it said Okay, now one more place we want to go is Expert, and then the MMDVM Host, and under the RX Offset and the TX Offset, we want to put in 450. That's what works good with this jumbo spot, the one that I got. I'll hit Apply Changes. And that was the worldwide talk group we were just listening to. Okay, you have some other options up here. You might see upgrade up here in the menu. If you see upgrade, uh, you can go ahead and click on it or update. Uh, click on those if it's not working. Uh, or if you just want to update it or upgrade it, I believe 3.4.17 is the latest version. So I'm good on that. Let's go over to the dashboard. But if you find yours is not working or something's a little quirky about it, do that update and the upgrade. Okay, yeah, if we look at the jumbo spot right now, there was somebody on it. And that's Ken KT4U. We can see on the dashboard there he is, right there. Ken KT4U, and you see uh, the IP address of the jumbo spot on my local network. Ken uh, KT4V. I'm sorry, KT4V is in the dashboard and uh, this is the bit error rate and when I transmit I watch the bit error rate to see how close I am if uh, if I'm too far off if I'm 2.1 uh, I want to go back and adjust that TX and RF offset but the negative 450 that we put in there should work uh, should work for you to get you very close Inside Missouri or uh, outside of Missouri, so anyone, anywhere, uh, please come in. Call, uh, please come in now with your call sign slowly, normally then phonetically, followed by your first name and location. If you're in Missouri, uh, please come in with your county. 
of anyone outside of Missouri, just a location only. Uh, KE0, KVW, please call it. K zero P I R South Dakota. I'm just getting uh, on the Missouri Talk group. See if he picked me up. All right, I uh, picked up two stations there, but I do need a couple fills. The station out of South Dakota. Uh, could you give me your call sign phonetically and go ahead with your name, please? Okay, Brad, the name is Rich, Romeo, India, Charlie Hotel, and it is Pierce, South Dakota, the call sign Kilo Zero Papa India Radio, K-Zero-P-I-R. Copy that, and uh, do you have any comments this evening? I don't have any comments. I just switched on uh, this talk group, and it's actually the first time I heard anybody on. Uh, but uh, good evening to everybody on uh, uh, this uh, talk group, and uh, thanks for letting me in. K0PIR. Roger that. Uh, this is our very, very first net uh, here on Missouri uh, DMR statewide. Uh, so we'll be here Monday evenings at 8 o'clock Central Time. Okay, so the next video I do will be on uh, doing a code plug for the Alunce HD1, and that's pretty simple too. Uh, I'm really enjoying DMR. I'm listening to stations, uh, hams around the world and uh, in the United States. Uh, that one was just in Missouri. And uh, boy, I, yeah, I didn't think anybody was on there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's not very much, it doesn't cost very much to get uh, get involved in this. So, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, please remember to uh, uh, make your comments below here or on my website. Visit k0pir.us. I'll have an article out on this. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.